Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, brave awakening rainbow warriors of our tribe of 99. We had a big blast of higher dimensional light released from our local Solaris today with a solar flare maxing at M9.82, close to X-Class at 1950 UTC. This was directly Earth-facing and is sending a massive wave of gamma plasma toward Mother Earth to prepare us for tomorrow's final 1111 portal of the year, November 29th. Released with this powerful flare was a CME which is carrying upgrades and nodes of transformation for our starseed Earth Angelics of the 144 and will impact Earth in two to three days as we enter into this final month of December and the 1212 portal and solstice on December 21st. Synchronizing with this major release and activation from Solaris, we are on the 13th and final day of the healing, blue hand wave spell of Cosmic Mother Goddess with Keen 39, Blue Cosmic Storm. This is also a powerful galactic activation portal day as the storm of transformation and transcendence has arrived. These energies coming in are assisting Gaia and all her children of the sun to shift timelines into one true ascension timeline of benevolence. This is paradigm shifting as all the old false systems of slavery are dissolving and the new earth rises from the ashes like a phoenix rising from the flames. Keep anchoring in these cosmic rays of Source Creator into the ley lines and crystalline core of Pachamama. Stay hydrated, get plenty of rest if your body needs it, get out to nature, meditate, and stay grounded. Keep rising in the glory of God's kingdom on earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine invocation to the gold pink ray. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And we continue with Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Gates are wide open. Parallels dropping in for choice point anchoring. Pre-jump, Azurite, Lyran, Syrian codes in the field. And from Divine Angel of the Light, Lightworker 4444. Let me tell you a story of the new beginning for humanity. A story of love where the fabrications of the past are left behind and a shattered failure of the darkness. We rise and shine and live in love. A splendid story of the children of the light's victory. We live in peace forevermore. And from divine sister of the light, Hannah and Noya. Draconian reptilian timeline distortion clearing. Inversions clearing and collapsing. Distorted elite systems collapsing within. Throat, solar plexus, womb recalibration. Planetary rehabilitation timeline. Angelic DNA human. We see high frequency aurora andromedan pearl descending on earth to rehabilitate, recalibrate, seed new. And so it is. 144 flowing in, always and every day. And from divine bro throw the light pars kute. In the absence of the archon etheric grid, the divine new energies are flooding the earth with unprecedented intensity at present. We are currently moving through this timeline shift that is happening now. The timelines are diverging right now. We can see the diverging timelines and many different offshoots of those timelines as we move through the expression. And just as we continue to move through the expression of our lives, we are indeed able to be aware of these two timelines. 
and yes indeed we are the verge now of a great shift along this timeline even the timeline that we are on now is going to have a great shift as well there is also going to be a great shift within the positive timeline and those that are on the negative timeline are going to experience a shift in their timeline as well and move them further away from us and all that we are attempting to experience and create in this new golden age that is upon us we can play our part in helping others move into this positive timeline or higher in this positive timeline there are also those that are positioned now at this point that are going to create this great shift that is upon us within divine love and light of one pars Kute, and from divine sister of the light laura hazel a word from the whales 28th of november 2023 cetaceans assist in the removal of dark hearts and their associated timelines by the divine will of the greater cosmic source uncertainty is belied by the greater spheres of consciousness arcturians assist in the rebalancing of the physical vessel trust the process with great love from the cetacean and arcturian collectives from dolphinresonance.org and from divine bro throb the light richard rudd gene keys unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your dna gene key nine the power of the infinitesimal november twenty eighth through december third twenty twenty three inertia determination invincibility the dilemma of this gene key is perspective if we are looking up at the whole mountain we will feel overwhelmed if we decide just to look down at our feet we will be captivated the taming power of the small teaches us to focus on small changes rather than attempting great things richard rudd sixty four ways and from the yi cheng the classic book of change hexagram nine taming power of the small wind blows across the sky trust in the power of the invisible for the butterfly's wings create a typhoon invincibility is the clarity of beauty determination is intuitive freshness inertia is the unease of entropy intention of creation taming power of the small brings about progress and success we see dense clouds but no rain coming from our western borders from genekeys.com and from divine sister of the light casey clausen new guardians of gaia the galactic dragons are returning as cosmic guardians of gaia just as Gaia's Earth Guardians are shifting, a cosmic changing of the guards is unfolding as well. As the ancient creation dragons fade away, allowing in their place new galactic lineages to emerge. As weavers of the golden creation codes, we have stepped back in, overseers of the new Earth project. We are in the time of the celestial solstice where the greatest light and the greatest darkness are unfolding around you. As the ley lines are shifting, purging the old, the new grid is anchoring in light. The cycles of death and rebirth are not separate, but existing together in the same cosmic breath. The death of a star creates a wave of life force energy, allowing for the new to be birthed each of you contain that same energy wave as vessels of creation itself what you are birthing is up to you the golden grid timelines are already present anchored in the now and ready to be activated you do not have to wait for a cosmic sign a solar flare or a cosmic flash to shift the time for shifting is now letting go of the limitations of the past remembering that you contain the golden codes of creation itself step into your own celestial solstice evolution and allow for your golden grid timeline to begin your expansion is waiting but you have to jump in casey clausen galactic channel and today from divine sister of the light shay from numbers by shay numerology eleven twenty eight twenty three even if after all this year has been you still feel stuck in a relationship situation or mindset 
even if you still feel self-doubt, fear, or stress, even if you have no idea what to do next, it's all good. You are good. You can choose right now, right where you are, to change your perception, your interpretation, and your vocabulary. This isn't hoping, dreaming, or wishful thinking. This is masterful. This is the new reality you have been working on all year. You are not the same person who entered 2023, and you cannot live in the past. New you is coming out regardless of whatever tantrum old you is throwing, and it should be obvious today. You are empowered. Your right action is to step up and show it, with grace and poise. Not by force, but by acceptance will you claim your own light. And that is your why. 144 coming in again, and from Divine Sistar of the Light Akash Ra Azurite. High Energy Update, Gaia's Earth, New Crystalline Pastel Plasma, Higher Harmonic Universes Field, Plasma Systems. Quantum Plasma Fields, New Grid Work. New Divine Diamond, Sun Angelic Human DNA Templates, Star Sun Codes Activation Within Our Light Bodies, Soul Bodies Grid Work, Divine Gaia Goddess Diamond Sun Angelic Codes, Recoding Deeper Inner Reconnection of the Gaia Inner Temple Within the Physical Body Vessel. We have assistance from Nature Spirits, Animal Angelic Nature Spirit Guides. Many animal spirit guides are assisting us with the regeneration of the new earth systems, restoring back to original, organic blueprints. We are releasing old programming, lower bandwidth energies from our morphogenetic fields, major disruption codes, corruption codes activating to clear massive old templates that are still unlimited, recreation of old programming, ego, unconscious sleeping programming, 4D separation hard drives, massive new gene code, emerald diamond, sun star codes activation for all new consciousness. We hope you enjoy our energy exchanges of blessings, healing, and deep inner peace today. Remember to drink plenty of pure, clean water, raise your vibrational frequency bandwidths to higher states of consciousness, inner dimensions of love. Light encoded activation from Akasha Ra Azurite, Galactic Quantum Multidimensional Consciousness Living Mentor. Crystal Star Being, Speaker and Translator of God's Source of the New Earth. From Starseed Evolution United.net. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Magda, Bika Viera. Prepared for the events. Maintain inner peace and balance. Do not allow the dark energies in you to overcome you and lose control. Energies are entering the planet that will increase the tension to give rise to different events which will be perceived according to each one's vibrational level. Some will be war, some will be liberation, some will be chaos, some will be transmutation, some will be death, some will be elevation. Are you ready to meditate and heal your inner self? Are you ready to awaken your spirit and free yourself from the matrix of control? Are you prepared to be a messenger of light, a starseed that will start the great war of light against darkness? This is the first message to you. Please stand firm and strong in the events to come. You must be strong because struggles, violence, desperation, frustration, and a lot of negative energy will come from humans to be liberated. Received energies will cause humans to release their dark energies that they contain. You could say they can explode in anger and hate to the point of harming anyone. They warned you about it, so be prepared. Let the balance, light, and love be unlocked. These dense energies can trigger strong earth movements, but remember, you already knew this. It's time to be extremely vigilant. However, remember that you should always be vibrating in light, love, peace, forgiveness, truth, and humility all the time. Human being will go through their final test to initiate change. Be true children of God on earth. Wake up your hearts, wake up your minds, wake up your consciences. 
unconditional love get ready we are the change and today from divine angels of the light ascension light workers to the ascension light worker collective there is an intense buildup of energy coming into the collective to prepare us for the 29th of november 1111 portal gateway and many are feeling extreme fatigue as we continue to clear out deep inner density and tiredness stored deep within the cellular body this is all about your system clearing the stored and deeply embedded false programming beliefs and memories in your cellular structure after the 29th of november the next gateway is going to take us straight into the 1212 energies expect some major changes within yourself in the next few weeks as it's going to be very intense and very interesting there will be a few surprises for some for others there are rewards and blessings but for most of everyone there are major improvements not just within themselves but also in their outer reality while the energies are intense right now old cycles are now closing and new timelines are opening to welcome you into the new earth's energy this major shift may bring in sudden dramatic and life-changing transformations ascending souls are breaking open and allowing back love peace and forgiveness they are releasing months decades and many generations of deep internal pain and trauma so many conflicting emotions may be stirring deep within self trust that everything is happening exactly as it is meant to and that everything is going in the direction it should be if you feel like you lost yourself for a while this is okay living in your own realness doesn't demand that you have to feel at ease all the time you won't always have the answers what you learn today can have a different meaning tomorrow because losing yourself doesn't have to be a bad thing it can be what you needed to teach yourself how to find your way to true self you may have felt that you carried your dreams with you for so long and for many years and you may have now cast them aside or you might be shrugging them off as too difficult out of reach or seemingly impossible but the tide has now turned as there are new dreams and new doors opening for you as well as new opportunities and things related will be lining up and it will feel like you are putting in less work than ever before because of your higher vibrational alignment during this transition you could also find yourself feeling emotionally tired at times this is because you are turning over a new page a new chapter and directing your life from a new level as this new life is now unfolding for you ascending souls are transitioning into a new existence where old harmful and outdated realities can no longer survive the vibration of the entire planet is lifting this is a sacred time and it is best to remain patient as better days are ahead allow the version of yourself that you were to teach you to allow the version of yourself that you are now currently to comfort you as you integrate deeper levels of awareness and understanding allow the version of yourself that you are becoming to inspire you as you are the version that you need and need it to be in every stage of your journey everything in this life is temporary everything that you are going through right now will not stay forever be it the good things or the bad allow yourself to enjoy your moments feel them deeply act as if everything is working in your favor you are taking one step at a time the truth is the work we do on ourselves today becomes our gift to everyone else be patient with yourself you are somewhere between losing your mind and finding your soul every moment that we spend in higher consciousness helps uplift the consciousness of the whole planet from ascension light workers and today from divine sistar of the light ra james we have multiple cmes coming at us get ready the energies are about to take us way up yesterday a solar magnetic filament erupted this was a canyon of fire eruption that sent three cmes towards earth we also had a follow-up eruption of two or more magnetic filaments we can expect these energies to really hit us november 30th through december 1st 
kicking up quite the geomagnetic storm as these CMEs graze Earth. While the bulk of the storm cloud will miss Earth, it's going to be expected to graze Earth's magnetic field on November 30th. Expect this to shake up the entire planet. This means we are moving into geomagnetic storms starting tonight. You will be feeling this one. I will remind you we are ultimately preparing for the event. It will only take one of these CMEs to hit us just right setting it off. We won't have any notice either when it does. This is where we are headed ultimately. Expect a lot of galactic energies. We are in a galactic activation portal today. Expect lots of DNA activations. We are wrapping November up. December is about to get intense in a good way. It brings us the winter solstice and some beautiful meteor showers. December 2nd is also a galactic activation portal day. It's also the peak of the Phionicid meteor showers. The radiant point of the Phionicids come from the constellation of Phoenix. This is the theme we are doing. You may be feeling the fire vibes of Sagittarius season right now. Like the Phoenix rising up out of the ashes, Sagittarius season brings a huge influx of very positive energies. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel. My heart and soul are overflowing with love and gratitude. How bountiful the blessings and love Mama Earth bestows upon us. What beauty and such immense diversity of life, life forms, nuances, whispers, enchantment, and so much more. Each day and night the miracle of life unfolds within, upon, and around her, expanding into the cosmos and the infinite whole. More than this, every living, breathing moment now is one of transfiguration from one form to another, as the old density liquidizes and the new lightness of being emerges. Such love, such miracles. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. Some conscious and or subconscious fears are releasing. These thoughts and feelings may have been keeping you stuck in the ego and depleted. You are progressing on and away with the full moon to new moon cycle. Healings and timeline shifting are bringing more stability, especially for the inner child to feel free. A new cycle of pure, healthy, positive thoughts will replace the previous software system the mind has been running on. Receive this healing and alignment of the new earth consciousness field. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godco.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Tuesday, November 28th, the moon, ruler of our feelings, is still in Gemini, the sign of our full moon yesterday. Today, Luna will be creating many connections before moving into the sign of Cancer. First, she will positively connect by trying to Venus, ruler of love and affection, in the relationship sign of Libra. Next, a challenging square to Neptune, ruler of illusion and confusion, in evasive Pisces. Then, an opposition to Mercury, ruler of our opinions and perceptions, in expansive Sagittarius. Finally, the moon will make a difficult in conjunct to Pluto, planet of transformation and evolution, and Sirius Capricorn, true to Gemini's vacillating nature. Our emotions may be all over the place on this day. There may be highs and lows in our moods, reasoning processes, and experience. Focus on releasing or shifting old concepts, assumptions, and beliefs. You may not be able to control the situations and circumstances around you, but you can control your thoughts and responses. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects We are coming down from the peak of the lunation cycle, bumping down the hill. Soft tumbles as the wind tussles with our hair. There's a thought maybe i can fix it after all the communication problem or the mind's inclination to ramble on and on with itself sucking energy 
the constant choosing but not choosing leaving it circling back making the same decision over and over because we can't seem to stick to it the heart has a little word says yes you know what you need and now there's a call of a curlew making you look up and it's all feels so much better but then blue sky becomes murky gray a fine drizzle thoughts become saturated with feelings and now everything feels soggy forgotten dreams nudge and push bubbling up as strange thoughts memories a prickling nostalgia for something you can't quite name let the feelings wash over you ride the waves remain open and curious sometimes you just need to surrender to the flow let spirit speak from leahwhitehorse.com and today from the zoltkeen times keen 39 blue cosmic storm the number 13 is called cosmic and its keywords are transcend endure and presence the last day of a wave spell is usually intense because you must digest all that has gone on for the last 13 days there is great potential for transcending all you have endured and this symbolizes that any progress we make comes with a price anything worthwhile is never easy the number 13 is a formidable number and has been the target of bad press over the years it's not unlucky just powerful today is blue storm which represents catalyze energy and self-generation these days are never relaxing but you know a storm clears the air and with all its energy can bring about big life changes blue storm days can make you want to hide it is an insane combination of number and day a storm we'll really have to endure the number 13 gives power to the storm creating a potential hurricane plus it is a galactic activation portal day it is a kind of day that shakes things up and brings about tumultuous results if you don't make big changes in your life today you've missed an opportunity that this wave spell has led you to we began with the blue hand which represents healing and accomplishment the last day is about enduring to catalyze so there's potential for healing but we have to endure to achieve it the portal day aspect makes today extra intense and note that the blue storm only happens twice on a portal day and therefore it's not that often do we get blown around this much and today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio blue cosmic storm thirteen kawak keen thirty nine twenty eighth of november twenty twenty three transformation of cosmic proportions the cosmic storm has arrived twenty eight eleven twenty twenty three equal ten eleven seven equal one eleven seven equal one two seven equal one nine equal ten equal one ten ten eleven eleven new beginnings one through nine alpha to omega day codes twenty eight plan for future success ten manifestation perfection authority power leader one new beginnings original leader independent unique month year codes eleven gate portal polarity illumination two twins partners alliances cooperation duality seven spiritual test initiation solitude magic mystic magician nine completion endings mission destiny service humanitarian grace twenty the awakening clear vision twenty three royal star of the lion strength protection support keen thirty nine equal twelve equal three holy trinity creativity joy an extra powerful ten ten galactic activation portal day to catapult our planetary liberation into the cosmos day thirteen is the last day in the blue hand wave spell we complete a very full cycle of accomplishment that brings healing and a deeper knowledge of what is required in order for profound change to occur in ourselves and the collective consciousness as we complete this cycle we look back and marvel at how far we have come and what we have accomplished and i am sure we are all further progressed than we were before yesterday today and tomorrow form a very powerful trinity for our planetary transformation 
we should witness major shifts by tomorrow and throughout the yellow sun wave spell of illumination big shifts are happening every day tone of creation cosmic is the last and final tone of creation the highest octave tone thirteen in the spiritual realm thirteen is the mystical number of the cosmic order the goddess and synchronic natural time the frequency of number thirteen holds the key to cosmic consciousness at day thirteen we have arrived add some i am here this is the stage of having transcended the physical emotional and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness cosmic action transcends power and doors essence presence finally let's go cosmic the transcendent dynamic that runs the whole show the all-encompassing everything that is the cosmic thirteen perfectly transcends taking magic flight and returning to the one once again we commence the blue hand wave spell on day one magnetically attracting all that we needed to fulfill our healing goals on the last day of the cycle we realize that we are totally healed and whole as we expand our being into the cosmos floating endlessly on the waves of creation ah pure presence storm warning blue storm kawak coupled with the cosmic tone makes for one very powerful storm of galactic proportions for those souls who have not completed their purging cosmic storm comes today to totally blast any lingering remnants and finish the job let go let go let go already today's question is what are my dreams telling me to transform how can we embrace the deepest transformation as a collective transcending density to arrive at a state of pure divine presence we bid adieu to manique the magnificent blue hand who has enabled us to access realms of healing wisdom and resources in order to accomplish our goals of returning to wholeness and the truth of who we are as souls manique gifted us with the power of accomplishment to step up and leave the suffering and dis-ease of the past behind expanding our ability to receive hold and embody more healing light tomorrow a new solar seal the magnificent yellow sun ahau the source of our enlightenment hosts a brand new wave spell as our journey through the dream spell continues divine blessings for the completion of our collective healing journey back to divine wholeness aho in la ketch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen sixty six keen thirty nine blue cosmic storm the mantra the code for today is i endure in order to catalyze transcending energy i seal the output of self-generation with the cosmic tone of presence i am guided by the power of abundance i am a galactic activation portal enter me and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're seeing your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So we're very grateful for each and every one of you that continue to support us in this great work and mission. If you'd like to help support us and help continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you could either make a monthly pledge or one-time donation. All the links are at egolovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Invocation to the Golden Pink Ray. In the name of the victorious presence of God I am, I call to the heart of beloved Serapis Bay and the Brotherhood of the Ascension Flame at Luxor, 
beloved saint germain beloved iesus sananda beloved sonat kumara and lady venus seven mighty elohim and seven beloved archangels and the seven chohans of the rays i invoke the golden pink ray from the heart of god to enfold my four main body systems and all my other subtle bodies and i say golden pink light from the heart of god infuse my form with thy dazzling golden pink radiance saturate me with the golden pink light from above saturate me with the pure white ascension flame raise me up into thy eternal glory resurrect my entire consciousness being and world illumine and charge me with the light of cosmic love for the victory of my ascension and the victory of my eternal freedom in the light as i call this for myself and for the earth i also call this for every man woman and child on this planet and so it is beloved i am Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed, powerful 1111 portal tomorrow as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.